Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Barb. I'm Dr. Barb Lenahan, and I'm here to answer your questions about all things animals. Today's topic, one of my favorites, aquatics. So let's dive in. Get it, Kula? from Gabrielle in Rhode Island. Hi, Dr. Barb. I have a question for you. How do penguins know where to lay eggs? Great question, Gab. When it's time to breed, adult penguins return to the rookery where they themselves were hatched. Some penguin rookeries have millions of birds at nesting time. Scientists have shown that most penguin species tend to go back to the same rookeries year after year. But to your question, how do penguins find that area? And well, the answer is a combination of some special features of penguins that help them navigate really well. One of these features is they're able to use the Earth's magnetic field to find these locations. Scientists recently have even found special proteins in their eyes that help them see this magnetic field. And then lastly, they're able to use the sounds of that specific rookery to identify it and find it. So a combination of all of these ways lets them find that rookery where they were born and then they go there to meet and nest themselves. Pretty amazing, right? And a little birdie told me that Gabrielle might want to be a penguin vet when she grows up. So I've got some fun penguin facts just for you, Gab. It is a myth penguins only live in cold climates. Take, for example, the Galapagos penguin that lives on tropical islands in the equator, or the African penguin, which lives, you guessed it, in Africa. It's too hot for a tuxedo at the beach. Most birds have hollow bones, but penguins do not. Penguins have dense, heavy bones, and that helps them swim and dive underwater. Penguins can swim up to 15 miles per hour, and emperor penguins can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes for a dive at one time. Wow! Emperor penguins, as many people know, are the largest penguin. But did you know that the little blue penguin is the smallest penguin? And they grow to be about one foot tall and weigh under three pounds? It's little and cute. Lastly, did you know, unlike you and me, penguins can actually drink salt water? They have specialized glands next to their eyes that help excrete all of the extra salt from the seawater that they drink. Amazing. Don't try that at home. All right, our next question comes to us from Addie in New Hampshire. Hey, Dr. Barb. I have a question to you about manatees. Do they get sunburned? That is a great question, Addie. Manatees have finely wrinkled, leathery looking skin. It's very thick and it continuously flakes off. Algae often grows on the backs and tails of manatees, which makes their skin color appear green or brown sometimes. Some scientists have even suggested that this layer of algae helps protect the manatee's skin, like a kind of sunblock. But in their normal habitat, swimming around in the water, manatees do not get sunburned since the water protects them from the sun's rays. However, when a manatee is stranded or out of the water, they can get sunburned. This is similar to dolphins and other marine mammals. When they're in the water, their skin is adapted and protected, but when they're removed from the water, their skin can overheat and become damaged by the sun. Great question. Thanks, Addie. Be sure to keep applying your sunblock, too. And make sure it's reef safe. Okay, our next aquatic question comes to us from Quinn in New Hampshire. Hi, Dr. Barb. Do fish drown? 
thanks for the great question, Quinn. No, fish cannot technically drown. Fish don't have lungs. They breathe by extracting oxygen from the water as it flows past their gills on the sides of their heads. So while they cannot drown, fish can technically suffocate if their gills are diseased or there's not enough oxygen in the water and they're not able to get this oxygen out of the water like they need. Just like you and me, they do need oxygen to survive. What a great question. Looks like Quinn's got another question for us. Take it away, Quinn. Whoa! How much does a blue whale shark like? Whale sharks are huge creatures. They can grow up to 40 feet long and weigh over 20 tons. That's about the size of a yellow school bus. But don't worry, these giant fish aren't out to get you. They're filter feeders, meaning they open their mouths, let a huge amount of water flow in, and then they eat the small fish, shrimp, and algae that were in that big gulp. All right, I think we have time for one more aquatics question. This one comes to us from Niel, also in New Hampshire. Hi, Dr. Barb. Why do fish sometimes have scales? That's a great question, Nai. Like most animals, all fish have skin. Many fish have an outer covering of scales, and the scales protect the fish, kind of like a suit of armor. That layer of scales also helps the fish swim through the water without a lot of drag. It makes them hydrodynamic. They even make a special slime layer, which is made up of mucus over the scales, that helps them glide through the water easily. Thanks to all of today's participants for their fantastic aquatics questions. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified when new videos drop. And if you have questions that you want answered, please email them in to the email address in my about section. Till next time, please keep up that curiosity and love of animals. And don't forget to do your part in taking care of our planet every day. Thanks and bye-bye.